What's up, kitty cats? It's me, DJ the Cat, the voice actor of Flame the Dragon Hog, and welcome to a uh, different video. It's not a reaction, because I would say this would be my first ever video, but no, my reaction videos was my very first ever reaction video. But anyway, anyway, um, today is my birthday, and I'm going to be spending it with my family a little bit later, but, um... Before I do that, I just got to make a few things. One, uh, the video where Flame talks about his birthday party uh, later on. And another thing is this video. Now, you guys are probably wondering, why do I have the word hate here? Well, it's because I'm about to talk to you guys about some stuff. Mainly anime. See, look, guys, I got a quick question to ask you. Have you ever watched an anime and thought to yourself, when you meet, a, when you see a character, you think to yourself, man, this character's trash. I hate them so much. One of the worst characters ever. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel whenever I see these anime girls. And yes, they're anime girls, guys. And I know what you guys are thinking, but wait a minute, why did you make Flame like these girls when, you know, you hate them? Well, that's just how I am sometimes, guys. But anyway, let's just dive right in. We got 10 girls here. So, guys, this is my top 10 hated anime girls. Well, top 10 anime girls I just hate. Now, guys, it's not that I don't, it's not that I hate the character. It's just that I hate them for, you know, their role in the anime. That's how I hate them, from their role in the anime. Whether they be a villain, a, a good guy, or, you know, something, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so if you guys want to see more videos like this, please hit that like button. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to do any more videos, like top 10 videos or anything. Alright, so, like I said before, without further ado, let us begin. Alright, so, the first girl that I hate on this list is, oh boy, we have Yandere-chan from the game Yandere Simulator. Now, guys, come on. We all know for a fact that this girl is definitely crazy. I hate this girl. I hate her. Why? Because she's freaking crazy. Now, come on, guys. Think about it like this. Everybody knows that if a girl is in love with a guy and she's too shy about it, all she has to do is just, you know, swallow her fear and just take a chance. If he says no, then you just keep on trying. But, they, but if he continues to say no, just move on. Not just kill, not just kill all the girls. Like, that's just crazy. Really crazy. But most people seem to play this game a whole lot. I don't mind I don't mind the people who play it. I really don't. But it's just a little bit crazy. But yeah, Yandere Chan, uh, I really don't know what to do about this girl because, you know, she's definitely insane in the membrane. She's insane. She's crazy. So uh yeah, I honestly don't know what to say about this girl. But get some help, girl. Get some help. Cause she's deaf because she definitely needs it real badly. Okay, so, yep, that's, so, yep, I hate Yandere-chan. I hate Yandere-chan. Anyway, moving on to the next girl. Next girl is number nine. It is, oh boy, we have Urza Nightwalker from Fairy Tail. Now, guys, don't get me wrong. Urza Scarlet, she is amazing. I mean, come on. She's a great warrior. She's a great fighter and everything. But her evil counterpart, or her opposite self, Urza Nightwalker, yeah, I sort of kind of have problems with this girl. I mean, come on, she practically, I mean, come on, she practically led a whole troop on trying to kill um, Lucy, and she practically tried to outdo her own self when it was just a standstill. I mean, it's just crazy. And what I mean by her own self, I mean like, you know, because remember, her... The, her and the other Urza, Urza Scarlet, fought, and they were equally matched, in a way. It was just crazy. But, anyway, yeah, I really hate her. She's just horrible. And, you know what else was crazy? The, sec the first time they fought, she lost, and she was so mad, she cut off her own hair. She cut off her own hair. As you guys can see, her hair is short, but before, it was long. And now, it's short. 
It's just insane. Uh, but anywho, yeah, yeah, I'm still working really hard on, you know, trying to like this character. Because, you know, at the end of the day, they did end up become good friends, I guess. Uh, I think Flame likes this girl. I think Flame likes her. But, yeah, anyway, uh, let's keep going with the next girl. Let's keep going. Let's see who else we got. Okay, so next up we have is Tatsumaki from One Punch Man. Yeah, I really do hate Tatsumaki. I really do, because the reason why I hate her is just that she just looks down upon everything. Like, she's just so angry and so me mean about everything. Like, just because you're like a uh, top-class hero or a low-class hero, I forgot what type of hero she is, um, I just really don't think you gotta be such a total bitch about it. I mean, come on, Jesus Christ. I mean, you're just so mean to everybody. One Punch Man, everybody, even your own sister. Even your own sister you're mean to. Well, technically you're not really that mean to your sister because, you know, you want, because you're her big sister and you love, uh, Fubuki and all that other stuff. But anyway, uh, yeah, just don't be a total bitch about, you know, just don't be mean. I mean, you're just mean. 100% mean. I mean, wow. You are just so, so mean, Tatsumaki. I mean, wow. You're just mean. I have never seen anybody this mean. But she is definitely, you know, mean. I really hate her. I hate her so much. I mean, she just doesn't give a crap about anything. And you're supposed to be a superhero. I thought superheroes were supposed to care about others. But not, but no, you just don't care about anything at all. Like, wow. Ugh. Anywho, anywho, let's just move on to the next character. Let's move on to the next one, guys. Okay, so next up we have is Annie from Attack on Titan. And guys, I'm pretty sure this is the only female character from Attack on Titan everybody hates. I'm pretty sure, well, besides Peak. Besides Peak. But, yeah. Anyway, Annie, this is one girl that I know everybody hates. Because, hello, think about it. She practically betrayed her own core by, you know, killing half of them. And, not to mention, she revealed that she's a titan shifter, just like Aaron. It's just crazy and insane. I mean, she literally betrayed her own friends. She betrayed her own friends and everything. And she's just been a total bitch. Like... She, like, she puts on all this tough act and all this other stuff. I mean, she is pretty tough. Don't get me wrong. She is tough and everything. And to think, I thought you would really, and to think, I thought Armin really did care about you, Annie. And I thought Armin really did care about you, Annie. Like, he practically stood up for you and tried to fight for you. And yet, you kick him underneath the, you, you kick him underneath the bush and just, you know, treat them like crap. And treat them like crap and all that other stuff. I mean, come on. Really? I mean, and Armin, he's been through so much. I mean, come on. Armin, he's been through so much. I mean, he witnessed Aaron getting killed. Getting his arm bitten off. He died fighting Baratolt and got turned into a titan. And now he's, like, really stressed out and all that other stuff. Because, you know, he's the brains behind the whole Titan operation. He's the brains behind it. And he's and he underneath a whole bunch of pressure. I mean, you really did kind of do that to him, Annie. So this is all your fault. You're the reason why Armin is like this for today. Ugh. But I really do feel bad for I really do feel bad for him. I really, really do feel bad for Armin. And Annie, ugh. You just disgust me. Ugh. Anyway, moving on to the next girl. Okay, uh... Next up is Princess Azula from Avatar The Last Airbender. And yes, guys, Avatar The Last Airbender is now classified as an anime. It's now classified as an anime, not a cartoon. So get it through your head, guys. Avatar is now classified as an anime. Okay. Anywho. Anywho. Uh, Azula? Yeah, I definitely hate Azula. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Why do I mainly hate Azula? Because I know there's plenty other female characters in Avatar that I should hate. Like, say, uh, Hama, the Bloodbender, or Mei, or Tai Li. No, no, and no. I somewhat dislike them, but I don't hate them. I just, I, 
you know. But anyway, Azula, I definitely do hate her so much. I mean, if you guys go back and watch Avatar The Last Airbender, there's so much stuff, there's so much unforgivable stuff that Azula has done. So much. Like, for example, she, you know, almost killed Aang. She almost killed Aang by striking him in light with lightning while he was in the Avatar state. He almost died. He almost died while he was in the Avatar state. He almost died. Um, he, she, uh, almost, uh, you know, she kidnapped uh, Aang's friend Boomy, the Earth King, and all that other stuff. And it was just insane. Uh, she did. She just did so much. She just did so much. All because she wanted to capture the Avatar before her brother did. It was just insane. Uh, and it's a good thing. And it's a good thing she's gone now. Because just to let you know, she is 100% crazy. I mean, have you guys seen like the final episode of you know Avatar? Have you guys seen the final episode of Avatar where you know she's gone nuts? She has literally gone nuts. Like, cutting her own hair, messed up her own hair, and it was just insane. It was just crazy, and all that other stuff. Like, wow! Like, really, Azula? You're just gone mad with power. Plus, not to mention, you sorta, kinda, you know, let the spirit of your mother, you know, corrupt your mind. And all that other stuff. It was just insane. Ugh. That's why I hate you, Azula. You're one of the worst, you're one of the worst female characters in all of, of, uh, Avatar. And that's saying something. That's saying a lot. But anyway, let's just keep the ball rolling with the next girl. Okay, so next up we have is Medusa from Soul Eater. You know, rest assured, nobody likes this woman. You know, rest assured, nobody likes this woman. Why? Because she legit used her own son as like a guinea pig in like a many different crazy experiments. I hate this woman. I really do hate this woman. I mean, she's the worst mother ever. Like, she's the worst mother ever. And I'm and that's saying something, guys, because as many animes as I watched, I seen a lot of worse moms. I seen a lot of bad moms. And trust me, it's just horrible. So very, very horrible. But anyway, oh my gosh. Just the things that she's done in Soul Eater. Just the things that she's done in Soul Eater. It's just horrible. I mean, what she did to her son is completely unforgivable. I mean, if she loved... I mean, come on. If she would have loved Corona, obviously, obviously, she wouldn't have done that. She obviously, she wouldn't have done that. I mean, hello, really think about it. Because I really do feel bad for him. Like, he never signed up to, you know be a test guinea he never signed up to be a guinea pig uh to have like a uh, soul inside his body yanking him around like a puppet and all that other stuff i mean wow i really do feel bad for that guy i really do feel bad for him and you shame on you medusa shame on you medusa shame on you a mother is supposed to love her son not use him as a guinea pig for experiments Ugh. And you're not the first mother who did that. You're a worse mom than, uh, Ryuko's mom from Kill la Kill. You're the worst mother ever. Ugh. And that's saying something. Since Ryuko's mom just tossed her out thinking that her, thinking that she was a failed experiment. Ugh. But anyway, I really do hate you, Medusa. I really do. Okay, anyway, moving on to the next girl. Okay, so next up we have is Toga from My Hero Academia. Yes, guys, I know what you guys are probably going to say, but wait a minute, why would you hate Toga? Like, she's the only female villain. Yeah, I know that, I know. But guys, come on. If you know what she has done to, you know, get her quirk to work and all that other stuff, it's just insane. She pretty much killed a whole mess of people just for their blood. She killed a whole mess of people just for their blood, just so she can, you know, use her quirk as for transformation. I mean, she's just horrible. She is just horrible. I, that's why I really don't like, you know, Toga. I really don't like Toga a whole lot. I really don't like her. She's just insane. She's just crazy. And, guys, I know what you're probably going to say, but what about the crazy chicks? You know, they're probably good, too. Uh, no. Some crazy chicks... Some crazy chicks do get over the craziness, but others, they're just, 
there. Ugh. But anyway, yeah, Toga, definitely in the hate pile. I hate you, Toga. Get out of here. Ugh. I just hate you so much. I mean, and to think, I thought that you and this other guy would actually get along just fine, but nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, you don't care about nothing. You don't care about no one. You don't care about nothing at all. All you care about is blood and using your quirk to mess with people. That's all you care about. You're a demon. You are a demon. Ugh. But anyway, let's just move on to the next girl. Let's move on. Okay, so next up we have is Jesse from Pokemon. Okay, guys, yes, I know. Jesse, she has been through a whole lot. She has been through a whole lot, and I know in some episodes of Pokemon where, you know, Ash and all his other friends felt pity for her and all this other stuff, but guys, come on, we know for a fact that we cannot like a woman who goes around stealing other people's Pokemon. I mean, I just hate Jessie so much, I hate her. I mean, she may be good looking and all that other stuff, but no, I just hate her. I mean, she's such a, I mean, she's such a stuck up little, ugh, I don't know what to call her, I really don't know. Because she's just mean, she's rude, she's a bit bossy all the time. I mean, I honestly don't know how James and Meowth can deal with this. Plus, not to mention, plus, not to mention, guys, come on. Jesse, she's just so obsessed about being a star, and she has all these crazy ideas, where the fact is, you know that she's never going to get anywhere. You know she is never going to get anywhere. It's just horrible. Ugh. I mean, I just hate Jessie so much. I hate her. Like, why would you, like, why are you traveling all around the different regions of Pokemon just for this one Pikachu? Just for this one Pikachu. I mean, come on, really? It's just one Pikachu. Look, I get it. The Pikachu is special. It's different from all the other, you know, it's different from all the other Pikachu. So we think. But... Come on. You, come on. I'm pretty sure there's lots of other Pikachu out there. But why are you just after Ashes? Ashes, Pikachu. Oh my gosh. But anyway, yeah. I really do hate Jessie. I really do so much. I hate her so much. And that's saying something, guys. Because, you know, there has been times where Jessie hasn't done anything. But just the sight of her, Meowth, and James... Hell, even the whole sight, hell, even a sight of Team Rocket just makes me think, oh no, here we go. Ugh. But anyway, let's just move on to the next girl before I start, you know, going nuts. Okay, so next up we have is Flare from uh, Fairy Tale. Okay, guys, again, this girl is just 100% crazy in the head. Now, Guys, I really don't like this girl. I really don't. I mean, she's just horrible. And what she did to and what she almost did to Lucy was absolutely unacceptable. See, what happened was was it was during this tournament or something. I think it was a tournament, but um she basically almost burnt she almost burnt her own logo on to uh Lucy, almost onto Lucy. Almost getting ready to destroy the fairy tale emblem on her hand. I really did feel bad for Lucy. I really did. I really did feel bad for her. I mean, Lucy gave it her all. She really did. And yet, here's this woman, you know, just messing with her. Just messing with her. And I just feel bad for Lucy. I really did feel bad for her. She almost lost her fairy tale emblem. She almost lost it. She almost lost it, and I really did feel bad for her. All because of this woman, who I hate. Like, I really hate Flair so much. I really do hate her so much. She's just the worst girl ever. The worst. Ugh. And look, guys, I'm just gonna flat out say this. Yes, she does have fire abilities. I do like girls that have fire abilities. I mean, but, guys, no. 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 I can't do it. I mean, like I said before, I like girls with fire abilities, but girls that have fire abilities and is, in, and is crazy in the head, no, I can't take it. I really can't take it. I really can't. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it at all. It's just crazy. She's crazy. I can't do it. No. And plus, not to mention, she moves her hair like tentacles. No, I can't do that. I'm not into that type of stuff. And plus, not to mention the... Uh, 
plus, not to mention, uh, no, just no, uh, but anyway, let's just move on to the next girl that I hate, let's just move on, oh my freaking god, okay, now, okay, guys, I think we're down to the last girl, yep, I think this is the last one, oh my freaking god, guys, we have the one, the only, Nagatoro from Don't Toy with Miss Nagatoro, the anime, but yeah, anyway, I just hate this girl so much, I just hate her, why you may ask, well, because her and her friends are always picking on this one guy, this one guy named Senpai, or whatever, I just hate her so much, like, she's just so mean to him, Always calling him a pervert. Always calling, always making him want to do all this perverted stuff. Like, so messed. Like, just so messed up and all this other stuff. Like, come on. Nagatoro, you and your friends, you guys may call, you guys may call yourselves friends and stuff with him. But I just think you guys are just bullies. I think you guys are just bullies. You guys mess with him a whole lot. You really do. You mess with him, you call him names, you one time slapped a collar on him with a leash, and plus, not to mention, Nagatoro, every time you always see him with another girl, you always have to give him like this evil stare. Guys, whenever you see Nagatoro give, give somebody that evil stare, you guys better look away, because that is just creepy. It's a creepy stare. Do not look into her eyes. She is just creepy. It's like she's looking deep into your soul. It's like she is looking deep, deep, deep into your soul, okay? Do not do that. Do not look. It's just, it's just horrible. But anyway, yeah, I really, really don't like Nagatoro. I mean, she teases him. She teases Senpai. She calls him names. And she uses his own, you know, uh, V-card against him, saying that, you know, oh you're, such a, oh, you're such a virgin, you perverted fool, and all this other stuff. And not to mention her friends ain't too different. Her friends ain't too different. Always wanting him to, you know, touch them and, you know, all this other stuff. It's just horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Like, I just hate Nagatoro. And I hate the anime, too. Ugh. You know what? I think one of these days, I'm gonna have Flame go over to her universe and give her a nice stern talking to. Because, guys, enough is enough. Senpai, he's just trying to, you know, get through the school year so that way... He can just get away from Nagatoro, because I'm pretty sure he really wants to get away from Nagatoro and her friends so very badly. Heck, I even heard that he wants to get away from her, because he's absolutely worried that, you know, he's just going to be another victim of their, of, their, of their jokes, of their jokes, and messing with them and all this other stuff. Like I said, Nagatoro, you may call yourself a friend to Senpai, but I think you're nothing but a bully. You are nothing but a bully you and your friends you and your friends are nothing but bullies so why don't you just go pick on somebody else leave senpai alone like just leave him alone he didn't do anything to you so why are you even messing with him in the first place ah <sighs> i'm sorry guys i just had to get that out i just had to get that out i just can't stand people being bullied i just can't stand that and senpai he's the he's the main one that's always getting bullied Mainly because he sort of reminds me of myself. I was bullied when I was in school. A lot. And I do mean a lot. So, yeah, it's just been insane, guys. Uh, but, anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Oh, wait, hang on. Let me double-check something. Okay, good. Uh, anyway, uh, that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed my top 10 anime girls who I hate. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy it, please leave a like and comment down below. And also, let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree with any other... If you agree with anything I said here. And also, let me know in the comments if you guys have any other anime girls that you hate the most. If you guys hate them. And also, guys, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to send Flame to uh, Nagatoro's universe to give her and her friends a nice stern talking to. Because I'm pretty sure Flame wouldn't mind doing that. I mean, he's not scared. I mean, he's not scared. I hope not. <laughs> but anyway. Anyway, and if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, please 
hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that way you guys will be up to date whenever I post. And also be sure to keep an eye out for the aftermath of Flame's birthday party, which is today. So keep an eye out for that. And also be sure to wish me happy birthday as well, because it's my birthday too. We were both created on we were both born on the same day. So yeah, be sure to keep an eye out for it. Any but anyway, be sure to wish us happy birthday today. Anyway, this is uh DJ the Cat signing out for now. Later guys.